We're looking at how to kick for young children, particularly about how they drop the ball. If you drop the ball right, it greatly increases the chance of a better kick happening. A lot of young children will simply throw up the ball, swing their foot and hope for the best. The result is often where the kick goes is an absolute lottery. When Huxley throws the ball up, the ball gets to about here. There's a long way between the bottom of the ball and her foot, correct? The ball could move in the air, which could cause your kick to go everywhere. What we're trying to do with Huxley is get her to drop the ball as low as possible, close as she can to the foot. Now, that distance, if she drops it here, it's only this distance which the ball's got to move. We're going to use a plastic bag to try reinforce having your hand low and keeping your drop nice and low. We're going to put the rugby ball inside it and then we're going to let the children kick it. The point of the plastic bag is to encourage the hand to be as low as possible as it reduces the amount of time the ball has in the air. You can kick over and over again and not risk smashing windows or breaking lights. This repetition reinforces a low drop which in turn increases your chances of a more accurate, more consistent kick. When you return to kicking an actual rugby ball, you'll find your children's hands automatically stay a lot lower than they previously had. By releasing as late as possible with your hand as low as possible to your foot, you're improving your chance of getting a more accurate, more consistent kick. Dan Carter, world record point scorer, gives us a masterclass on the drop punt, drop kick, spiral, and the place kick. Former Australian halfback Sam Cordingly runs us through the finer details to help improve your box kick. Welsh and British and Irish line Lee Halfpenny shows what it takes to slot a place kick under pressure. International kicking talent at your fingertips in our library on the rugby side. Yeah.